This is a live recording of me attempting to do my most recent creation. It's an acrylic, transparent acrylic version of my little, um, long, sorry, long eared owl on, in clear acrylic. Just taking the stand off. I just want to tip the whole thing out. Jumble it up. I don't want to use the the thing because that helps. Just clear some of this. That stuff. Jumble it up. So this puzzle is about the idea you are what you eat and something like this long eared owl eats often whole, i.e. without biting, um, small animals, animals of all different varieties, basically anything that moves at night that it, it can hear and can home in on because it can hear it and if it moves and it's small enough it's likely to be predated. So let's just put the space. The variety of animals that will come out at night thinking it's safe quite considerable and it's known what a variety of species this bird and many owls like it eat from their regurgitated pellets and the that information has informed what species I've put into this piece of art. Now the pieces, the, the species, the animal species that have been recorded to have been eaten by this long eared owl are roughly um, life size with a little bit of poetic license used to fill the spaces. It must be remembered that I've attempted to design this piece so that they interlock to a large degree. And I still want to make it a challenging puzzle. And with some recognisable parts, but some parts are not recognisable, which is what you would expect in a munched up bunch of creatures that have been consumed by this creature. The way it eats creatures whole and uh, digests them, taking out, th so its stomach will take out all of the pieces it can digest that, that are useful to it. Um, what remains comes out as a pellet and that includes things like bones, teeth, feathers. Um, but from those pellets it's clearly discernible what the creatures were. So now let me just focus now on, let's concentrate on what I'm doing here, try and get a reasonable time. Now obviously I've done this, I'm very familiar with this design because it, it, it actually took quite a considerable amount of time to design this, probably a, a month 
and even then after I finished it I and when I cut this by hand I it was a slightly simplified version of this and it was only about a, two years after cutting this by hand and then trying to cut it um, on, a la uh, on a laser that I realised I could add some more details so I did add a few more things but even after that I discovered there were some gaps I'd left where there, were no where there was nothing really interesting going on in the design and so I added um, yet further detail quite recently. So this has had a journey in my time um, of about three years. And there are different versions for different purposes. Now let me concentrate because I'm not doing very well here. De -de 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 -de. Surprising the variety of rodents and frogs and things that we have in the British Isles. Part of the message of this piece is it's also about camouflage, shape camouflage in particular. A lot of these creatures, unless they move, they're very difficult to see. And that's possibly why evolution has um, led this particular species to rely mainly on sound because if they're moving then that's like unambiguous as if they're still you can't see them you can't hear them oh, where's my where's this little piece gosh and this piece is um, a little bit tricky because the pieces could be either way. The, um, the opaque versions of this, the wooden versions of this, can only go in one way, can only, only have one way, but um, this piece is a little bit trickier. This is supplied with white gloves and I'm wearing white gloves so that you can enjoy doing the puzzle without getting it dirty, getting your fingerprints all over it because the, it also comes with a stand, a purpose-made stand that um, is also clear at acrylic so you can display it on a windowsill or something like that um, and that's when the, any uh, markings on the clear, clear perspex would um, annoy most people, certainly would annoy me. The, the pleasure I hope people will get from this is that they won't know what to expect with this and that's exactly what you would get in nature you don't know what to expect you don't know what is where um, so you will hopefully encounter many surprises when you do this many 
pleasant surprises, hopefully. Again, just reflecting what's happening in nature. Doing very well, I'm doing worse than I thought I would. Gosh, 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 gosh. If you like puzzles, I would urge you to, if you buy one of these or receive one as a gift, to not use the frame because that gives you, gives away quite a lot and to jumble it up so that it's jumbled on both sides you know top and bottom as well as horizontally and then you will get the maximum challenge out of this It was, it was a challenge designing these pieces so there's some semblance of recognizability but also a level of challenge to the would-be solver This clear perspex is lovely material. It's, it took a bit of getting the hang of how to cut it and so on. But this is five millimeters thick and it's quite smooth. There are a few sharp edges where, but that's just the nature of something like this. That's got a sharp point to it. That tail would naturally have perhaps a sharp point to it but the the actual edges of it the natural edges are quite smooth and the sides are quite clear uh, it's a very satisfying material for me The measure of it now. So the, this idea of you are what you eat really does intrigue me that animals consume things and their, their digestive systems take out 
from the material they've consumed, which can be a huge variety, take out just the bits they need or want and throw away the rest or um, excrete the rest. It's a... Uh... Now in the case of predators, they they're using the raw materials they need are such that they rely on other creatures to get those raw materials for them and convert and those creatures convert the raw materials into higher proteins and such like. So rather than an owl like this eating grass, um, mostly vegetable matter, and converting that to protein and carbohydrates and such like, they rely on other creatures to do that for them and they eat those creatures as a a much more concentrated form of food. So the likes of predator, prey animals spend a lot of time consuming lower uh, quality food, shall we say, with less nutrients in. And higher level predators sorry the lower the lower um, complex creatures consume low lower complex nutrients concentrate that to make themselves to make their own um, bodies and to use that for energy and High level, high level prey animals use that more concentrated form of nutrients to make their own bodies and to feed their own offspring. And this, this, this constant, this game of taking materials from the environment in one form or another and converting it or using it directly to make up your own body or to use it for energy is a theme that's rife throughout nature and I just find it absolutely bewildering. Now then, now then, now then, now then, now then we're getting close. This acrylic is relatively very strong. It's reported to be around 20% stronger than glass. In comparison to wood, wood is strong, but it's also got localized weak spots along the grains and edge and um, sharp edges. Whereas I feel this acrylic, you could drop pieces. It would remain quite intact. It, it, it'll scratch but it's still quite strong. Um, do, 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 do.
nearly done. <coughs> It was the funnest part to do, working out how to put these ears around the eyes, and there we have it.